Hey, it's James Robbins here, and in this video, I'm going to give you six different ways that you can reward and recognize your employees, and that's so important because without reward and recognition, you can't reinforce the behaviors that are going to help you be successful as a leader and ultimately as an organization, okay? So let's go ahead and dive in. And so the first idea is this. Number one is to make sure that you're acknowledging top performance. I'm not just talking about any performance, but when there's somebody who is operating above and beyond everyone else, like when they are, uh, I don't want to say setting records, but when they are doing things like above and beyond, you want to make sure that you recognize that because that is so crucial that when people put in that extra, that extra effort, they want to know, is this worth it? Often they're not getting paid more and maybe their coworkers are, are, are not putting in as much effort and they're still all getting paid the same. And so there's always that question in the back of my mind, like, is this worth it? So anytime somebody is putting in a top performance, we for sure want to be all over that. All right. The second way that we can uh, recognize our staff is by acknowledging specific goal attainment. So there is some kind of goal that was completed, a milestone in a project that was done, even the small ones, we want to make sure that we recognize that. Because what are we really recognizing? We're recognizing results. We are recognizing tangible progress in our organization. And when we recognize something, we can reinforce it and we uh, increase the chances that it's going to be repeated. All right. Number three, we want to, we want to, we can recognize by acknowledging uh, attitudes or involvement. So if you look at your team right now, everybody thinks Everybody thinks and acts in a certain way. And some attitudes are better than others. And some people are more optimistic. Some people have that go-getter, uh, go get them attitude. Other people might be a little bit more on the negative side, whatever it might be. But whatever kind of attitude that someone has that's an asset to your team, like maybe they just have a sunshiny disposition and they just bring a lot of light and energy uh, to team meetings, we want to acknowledge that. We want to recognize that and also the impact that it has on the team, right? So uh, let's say Sally is just such an optimistic person. We might go and talk to her and say, hey, Sally, I, I seldom ever uh, say this to you. I know I should say it more, but I so appreciate your optimism. Like at the meeting the other day, and you're gonna give a couple examples when you did this, and then when we just lost that big account, but then you said, hey, this is an opportunity for us, and you're always reframing things in a positive light. That optimism, really helps the rest of us get out of uh, tunnel vision and thinking bigger and bolder. Thank you for doing that. Something like that doesn't have to take long, it's 10 seconds, but what we're doing is we're acknowledging an attitude, an attitude that we want to see more of, okay? So number four, acknowledging anniversaries and milestones. So these are more corporate anniversaries. Remember, corporate birthdays, as a manager, this is real estate that you own. In other words, their mom is not phoning them up that day and say, hey, you've been with the company for five years. Uh, no, none of their coworkers are doing that because they don't know. And this is, this is your role. And so what you want is you want to make sure that you have all of your, your, uh, your direct reports, that you have their corporate anniversaries in your calendar so that when they come along, it's an opportunity for you to go and recognize them privately or publicly, and just talk about what they mean to the team, what they mean to you, and how why you're glad uh, that you have them there. Um, uh, area number five, acknowledging general dedication and work ethic. So just consistent work ethic. Somebody might not be a top performer, but you know what? They're just consistent. They're just showing up day in, day out, doing the job that you need them to do. That's worthy of of recognition. It makes people feel noticed, makes people feel like you see it, you recognize it, and that's only going to reinforce that work ethic even more. And lastly, acknowledging unique skills or insights. So when you look out at your team, everyone has their unique talents. And our unique talents are things that we should be using as much as we can in the workplace. But that's where you want to make sure that you're capitalizing on that and talking about how somebody's unique talent, what that brings to the team. Again, you're always linking this to, to tangible things that uh, that impacts and you know, helping them understand and how much you appreciate that special talent that they have. It's probably a talent that you don't have either and how you're so glad that, that 
they bring that to the team, what's that going to do? It's going to make them feel special. It's going to make them feel important, but it's also going to reinforce them using that uh, with your team. So those are six really easy ways that you can use reward and recognition to motivate your staff and to reinforce the kind of behaviors that you need to see more. Now, recognition is so powerful and it doesn't take long and it doesn't cost you anything. But in fact, recognition is one of the nine engagement drivers that are going to that increase the motivation of your staff. If you would like to learn about the nine engagement drivers and how you can tap into those to help your staff find more motivation, more productivity, then I've made you a free training and you can access that by clicking on the link below in the description section. Go on there and register and you can get access to it right away. There's no charge to attend that training, but that training is gonna help you understand these engagement drivers and how you can put them into practice in your team as early as tomorrow.